Let's go to yep. for who you are, oh God. You're sovereign, who your ways are. You pay sins. For those that just on each path, uh, listen to advise right and what was wrong. And we, Lord, we, we especially want to uh, give grace and peace as physical therapy, as they say, and wisdom. As, uh, Lord, we also have for you to be physical. We are all in need of that your love desires for us. This is Jesus. Our Old Testament comes from 1 Kings chapter 20. Sing a vineyard, the Jezreelite, goes to the pal Ahab. Ahab, have your vineyard to use for, for a vineyard. Or for, for I will pay. Naboth replied, forbid that I. So Ahab agreed, because Naboth will not give you the. He lay a few feet. His wife, Jezebel, why are you so sullen? Why won't you my vineyard? Is this how king over Israel? And he, cheer up. How did Naboth sit? Those letters, him a day fasting, prominent, but the anvil opposite him, and God king. Then take him out. Luke 1, verse 8. Now one of Jesus had dinner with Pharisees and reclined at the sinful life and that the Pharisees and Alabam and at his feet we kissed them and put them on them. When the Pharisee man were apprised that she is a sinner, tell you, and owed money to us, one of five hundred other them had the money to pay him. Directly Jesus turned to woman and said, to woman, I can to your house any for my feet. She wet my feet with her the time I entered, you did on my head. I feed you her many, but he who has little, her sins, the other among them who ends. Your face, Jesus traveled to another, proclaimed over with him, had been heard of evil spirits and diseases. The manager of Herod's house, and were helping support them. Good morning, everyone. Or not the I guess not the mirth. Why would these things happen? So, let me just pray with you. Heavenly Father, I just pray you open up your word together to us, the teacher. Pray that Jesus' name. We've been um, doing a series through the book, which uh, is one say minor, the importance since. Is uh, the minor prophet? They're shorter series. I don't know. But, uh, I'm back. You know, know much about him. Is is in that it form prophetic book. books? You know, the prophet was kind of hanging. You know, minor people. And book of Habakkuk is, is a little bit. Habakkuk's kind of look going on here. And this this is messed up here. And so he praises God, and says, "Hey, don't know where it's going on." God responds, and and then Habakkuk responds with us. We've kind of that first of Habakkuk, and we've kind of first was, you know, just stopped. You know, he wrote, King I kind of led a kind of renewal of Israel. And as soon as King Jehoshaphat died, his kids kind of threw that all wind. And uh, so Israel had to be very violent and very corrupt uh, in text about speaking out. And God, as you start uh, looking, his respect up Babylonian for them. He said, they're going to be just. So before we examine what happens as a Habakkuk response, review of what story, sometimes often like that, Babylonians, it's very relevant. You pay to question God. Places that have people. And God, and we all have time, and we put on the count. What is like, it should, is that a, you know, and it's okay to question God. Put bulk, kind of, uh, number two, it must be a sincere open heart. And saying, I, you do. I'd like an, an accusing heart. Aren't our ways. But number four, is in charge, troll. Often work on the surface. See God, we want him. Like, yeah, it's God, but, but God being, he's working below the, the in large way, and we call that work. Now we're going to look back again, starting with, look at the. Are you for the everlasting, O God, my holy one? You will not die. The Lord did them in O Rav, establish them to correct. Your eyes are moved, you look at, on wicked. What the sea creepings of them? The in all of them their net and gather in their fishing net. Therefore, they are there in their food. Will they there be and can please lay nate sparing? I will seek to them, and how I lie when I am moved. So, how about answer? Answer. That right? We pray for someone. Does it taught it? That must be Joe. It's you, too. God. One of the ways to, to kind of make sense, um, you know, as we're, and to make sense to talk about God's justice, God's wrath, just this idea that, you know, we're not we're like a loving God. And I'm talking like a loving God. But, but when people's going, would, would a loving God send someone out? And people who aren't just downright angry. God doing this. He did judge. This is it Joe, the worst sin of all culture? It seems to love when, like you said, full outfit. Don't judge, right? If someone said, Lori, isn't it interesting people to judge agree with us? Us or sedative, maybe. It's, I cross it. If I have with my wife, it's, but we're kind of obsessed with this. We like just as long as it comes about our television prompts, right? I mean, CSI and the villain is going to get just another show, like, and, right? That's a these are CSI in at this point. It's like I'm ready for it. Warm him up, right? <laughs> They're going to guide who took Dean's cow. We'll find, you know, I don't, so it's not that we don't like justice. We just don't like God with justice. To our culture, and in hell. People cringe at that idea. And the idea that they have wrath is very uncomfortable. Do you know you can't have wrath without love? Think about it. 
When you're really upset, is it because you don't care? Right? No one can make you angry like your sibling. Family can get can bring forth your relative like that. Why can't the guy just walk in that house? Did strangers sometimes bring forth your wrath in another car? That's usually because you're getting what kind of brings out. Anger. But wrath, it's, it's because of God's infinite love for his children and for his creation. And when that gets in, it brings wrath. It's actually an evidence of his love. It's not lies in the face of his love. And so we need to kind of grasp this idea that God is a judge, does judge. God has the authority to judge. I mean, we, we kind of push back on some. People push back. Would a God summon out? God doesn't send you. Just go. Ooh. If we had death row, right? I don't, I don't think we have Vermont. Let's say we're in this or somewhere. I don't know if they have death row there. I don't know if somebody think a state with death row, it's Texas. Just a guess. Any Texans out there being wrong? Okay. Well, then forget it. <laughs> Who to judge anyway? Down a death row. They put their heads down a death row. All guys hit their crimes. They're guilty. They've been judged. They are in the death penalty. Goes down and says, "It's Christmas Day. I'm going to grant some out of my mercy." Now, if you're, and he kind of goes kill them, and you think this guy's going to respond, this guy may. So that's the guy pardon. Now, hardened criminal, like you know, kill people, and he let me out of here. Or you know, does he have really right to go? Man, the governor is hateful man. Because he's going to say death. Is there any right to him to complain? And that's a reality because God in heaven is perfect and we're all on death row. Every human being, Adam and Eve on death row, God is losing to show his mercy. So he is a judge. And if we look at him, you, and, and untangle the condition in your emotions, and, and it's something you make this off. Funny, so you can figure God knows. Don't. They're like, oh. When someone's on the back, you're fond of themselves. They're unfold. I'm not feeling real good about it. Oh, no doubt me. When it comes to God, this. We want, we love justice. We watch you. And we want justice for every. I want everyone to serve except for me and people. Us. There's a gap. There's a gap. We expect to maintain and rest. Look in the world and we be like this. If I were God, there's this is a big of people leave the church because the nation gap between God and the people act and how to. Most atheists, you know, rejecting God. Evidence, lack of evidence. It's about science. It's off the case. That's the way God is then he doesn't exist. And they feel like that sounds logic. Really not. Because how many of you will be or have a teenager? Okay, so all of us, you know. As a teenager, once in a while, just something you're shun- Every year, you're dumb, wrong, dad is shunning the way I think you ought to fuck. Clearly with you, the fuck. Do think them, that dad could exist. Logic. When we, like, that logical, is it? Work. What do you do with this aspect? I think we all have it. I, there's, a, I mean, yeah, faith, yeah. But I think all really honest. There's things. Well, uh, yeah, I kind of with me. I don't word it that but view way back. He did it different. I, it was just a little. What do we do? Okay, it's it's okay to. As long as we're doing that with open and sincere heart, as long as we're doing that from a place of humility, as long as we're understanding God knows everything and you don't. Right? A lot of times you see another person thing, you wouldn't do it that way. You say it's. Stupid. Maybe some of you work for you. Like, why on earth would they do it that way? Right? And you go and you question. And when they explain to you, it makes is that, that experience like, oh, so it may, they knew something. I didn't. If that could true, other human being, it's possible that the omniscient God who created the universe might something that no. Awesome. It's possible. It's, you know, I like going, no, no, I'm just kidding. I'll do in this next clip of Habana, what I'm seeing, processing his, he's kind of saying, what do I, God, what do I see? tension between and what I know, and, 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 and I got to work through it so. So he starts to process his expectation. If we take prayer, we can learn a few things about at the are you everlasting? My heart of a you, O rock, of a sin, your honor to a evil. I'll look at wickedness. He starts with you know, kind of like maybe first, like, um, but let's talk about it. And there may be, but what he's starting with, what? struggling, we know God. what curved about God's character in terms of our lives in the past and from his self in the Bible. That starting point is do we know about him? And that should be our lens. Because the Bible is God's self-revelation. This is what we want you to know about. And it culminates our lens. Perspective just about anything if you look through the gospel. So is that you're on oh, God to show you God is total cross, but he's full and loving and compassionate. And he did that through Jesus so that you saved. God wants his love for you to be in your life every single day. Is that star things? You know, if I look at my just through the lens of the gospel, I look at how I spend my time. Does that change your prayers at all? 
You know, if I start looking at my through the lens of the gospel, because when you look at it of right, don't the problem not believe. There should be a lake of fire for people who drive like that, right? Suddenly this attitude, because this guy's cutting me off, it's messing with me, and I'm looking at life through centric thing. Look at me, but when I look at that guy through the he get off, but I God created that person, that person died, person of God, it's that person that he probably wants to bless. That it's like glass. These aren't shapes; they're just shapes. I have to have her holding. Why? Some have to and just to make the lettering. But this one is a sad thing. What, what are, are you worried? So that starts about God. But then he honestly eyes the expectation. He just kind of, God, here's what I know. I know you're, I know you're just. I know, I know you're sovereign. I know that you've said you're going to judge this other nation. And he's going to, your eyes are too pure to approve evil. And, and look on wickedness with favor. And he goes, but why are on those who deal treacherously? The wicked swallow up more than that. Because first of all, he's like, "Really, you've got to do something." Go, okay, I'll do this. And he's going, "Something else is you use help these lights because they're worse than us. You're pushing us, and you're less than them." He goes on. He says, "Why men like fish and sea creepings without?" He's going, "We're a bunch of fish. The child just there pulling us in, pulling us in, where they want. This isn't right." He goes, "The child bring them off them away with their net, and then, then they go and they worship their net." And with this, will they fare there and continually see nation? Starts to kind of these yours and these guys and this. And using them, that the judge, your punishment, your, I can't make sense. Now, a thousand ago, oh, come on. But let's put it this way. If you look wrong, look at the sin that's prevalent, the, the racial issue. We look at the violence. we got to do something. Get us on the street. Never pray. Okay, now, say you answers you believe. Out by that. Right. I'm, I am raising up Norea. And, so that's, that's say Like Belgium or something. You know, Korea. I mean, and, and I mean, this is the only American. You know, how do you use them? You can't. Or would you be like, that's great. North is going to get America for himself. The entire NBA. See, that's what. Because now you're being rushed with. Then they start the expectation gap. The questions conflict. I know about this is conflict here, God. This is the thing he did. He says, I position myself what he and may reply. God, he asks him. It enters quiet with ectate. Oh, here. Let's see what God. We have a hard thing, don't we? For God. You read the students to get you think more worship service. For 30 or 40 for God, prepare worship service. Think about it. And that's pretty hard. I've done it some. Do worship service. We're going to be tired. Quiet. Oh, not used to that. Honest. When I want to more than this phone, turn off my computer, return off my brain, and getting rid of the. I, I've talked to the elders. They're supposed to I had always to say, I'm going to take one of my work days, and I'm going to just spend it in prayer. Now, how does actually I get out all day reading through some of that? It's probably to shut up or late. Here, what, because all you hear is what you're saying. Charlie, were you talking about what call it? The monkey? Monkeys is in his brain. What happens, right? The two is what you're saying. Talk about what you got in your brain. So. <laughs> I, uh, we've got some. I don't know if it's a monkey or, or what you got, but it's hard. But if we're expect grapple with our expectations, uh, I need to just out on the table and get on God in an hour. He may not answer, he may not answer you in a month. It's a start for three days in the wilderness. Response to him. I must message really. But the initial response. The, the next verse, uh, this, is God's basically pen. And his response, I'm going to give you an answer. Write it down. Do I want there to read some day? There's going to be people. Oh, we're not going to go this morning. Next week, come with me. Uh, it starts with, got to look honest about the things that are listed. And a sermon, as I, I'm a silence. Enough. But it's, you know, at least get fair enough. And look, I have, this is a set of the Lord, right? It's okay. Out of our time together, other time, think, what is God saying to me that I'm not take just to be like this idea of what he's saying to you. And tomorrow, today or tomorrow, to him, so what calling you incorporation in your life. So please have those questions. What is God saying? What about it? How will what he wants to do in you? So just listen to God. Or a or a, that you feel like God, he really wants to speak. Father for your life, that you are indeed lives, you're working at the service. Thank you, that and if you do. And Lord, we thank you. I pray, students of the school, and I pray that you teach of us in our prayer. Pray that.